Hello everyone, welcome to my first day on ImpactWrestling.com. I'm Josh Matthews, thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. We've got a, a lot of tremendous feedback so far on my first day and I've been looking forward to this guest for quite some time. Welcome. Stop it. Two time knockouts again. champion, Brooke, welcome to the show. Thank you. How you doing? I'm good, I'm really, really good. A little tired. You know we've been here shooting TV for quite a few days. But it's know. always, uh, everyone has a lot of downtime and then we all get together and it's like, get everything done in four days. Yeah, it's crazy because you go home and it's like, oh, I want to go back to work. And then you squeeze just so much into just such a little time and it, it can be exhausting, but you know what? It's an awesome job. I wouldn't trade it for anything. You're a, a grizzled vet at this point. Ew, don't ever call me grizzled, ever. <laughs> no, I'm not. I am. Yeah. I am. Mm -hmm. Everything hurts. It's harder to get up. It's harder to just go about the days. I gotta stretch like RVD for like an hour before my matches now. Do you <laughs> remember your first day here? Oh my God, I'll never forget my first day. How uh, how daunting was it? Was it here in Orlando? Where, where were you? It was, it was here in Orlando and um, I, rem I didn't sleep for the first like three nights before I even flew in. Like, oh my God, half these people I've never met. So who called you, how did, it, how did it, or did Bob Ryder call you on the phone and, and say, hey, look, we wanna bring you in? No. Um, Terry Taylor, uh, he was head of talent relations at the time, and he's like, hey, you know, I had a friend that recommended me to you. Would you be interested? And had you ever spoken to Terry Taylor at this point? No, I had never spoken to Terry. I'd never met anyone from Impact Wrestling. Um, so it's like, oh. So you get a 615 number on your phone, and you're like, what's going on? Here? Well, I had, uh, I, I did an appearance for an indie show somewhere, and this booking guy's like, hey, you really should go to Impact Wrestling. I really think you would love it there. Um, and at the time when I left WWE, I'm like, oh, I'll never be in wrestling again. It never was even a thought. So when he said, I'm like, oh, that would be pretty cool. Okay. And then he got me in contact with Terry. And he's like, I have a, the, the perfect thing for you. Why don't you come in? He's like, you're going to be a secretary. I'm like, awesome. How is that the perfect? I'll take it. I will take it. I just didn't care. I wanted to come. And I knew I could make an impression and then eventually move away from that. So was wrestling on your radar when you were younger, when you were a kid? Was it something that you thought like, hey, yeah, I'd like to do that? No, I never, ever, ever thought that, but I was a huge fan. That was something that my family did every week. We always watched Monday Night Wrestling, Friday at the time, I believe, and oh God, I know there was one other night, Saturday, something, but yeah, it was in every pay-per-view. You know, it was something that the, the one thing that we always did as a family, and I was like, here, you know, I, I loved Sable, I loved China, I loved um, Lisa Marie, it was Tara here. Sure, you sure. know, I looked up to all those women, so. So you show happen. up, you get here, and uh, you find out that you're gonna be the secretary to Eric Bischoff. Yes. Had you ever spoken to or met Eric at this point? I had never spoken to him or met him. I knew who he was from WCW, at least what he looked like then, okay? So like, you know, I'm introducing myself, I'm in the makeup chair, and I can't remember, I think it might have been Christy Hemme. He's like, oh, are you excited? Like, what are you doing today? It was before she kind of took her lead role here with the knockouts. I'm like, yeah, I'm working with Eric. I haven't, I haven't met him yet, I can't wait. And he's sitting right next to me. He's like, <clears throat> yeah, do your research, girl. And I'm like, oh my God, this has already started off amazing. I'm like, God, this guy's gonna hate me and I gotta be attached to him for God knows how long did you think it was over at that point yeah, like, oh, I'm like okay i might oh, as well go home right this is horrible and you know it just set the pace for the day i'm like that's so embarrassing because it, it almost looked like i had no clue who he was i mean he was literally right there but he had the you know the short white hair and you know i remember yeah, him yeah. with the long hair and i just didn't even really make eye contact with him and i said god man i just want to crawl in a ball and hide because <laughs> already like it's very very scary when you come in and being so new into a company, you don't know anybody right off the bat. Then you're working with somebody that's so high up, that's in the office, that is so great, and you're like, oh, cool, awful first impression. Mm. So you're Miss Tessmacher for how long? Let me tell you, I didn't pick that name. I was like, who, who am I? Isn't it, wasn't it uh, from a comic book? Yeah, well, it came from the original uh, Superman. Right. Okay, well, that was before my time. So Lex I didn't Luthor's. know Luthor's. Miss Tessmacher! Yeah. yeah. So I was like, hmm, okay, we'll go with it. I'm not sure you spell it yet. I don't know how people are gonna feel about it, but hey, I have a job, we'll take it. So yeah, it was Miss Tessmacher. And how long before you actually competed in this ring? Um, God, I, if I can remember right, it was 
good to see, God, I don't want to say almost a year, I was doing that next to Eric and Hulk Hogan, which was really cool. That was fascinating. I marked out. It, very intimidating, but I was always like, oh my God, I'm standing next to him. And he offered me, he's like, do you need extensions? I got the best weave lady ever as he pulls out. Wait, Hulk out. Hogan? Yes, and I'm like, how do you know? And he pulls out like a mirror and a comb and it's purple and he's like, mm, just if you want to know, let me know. I'm like, oh, you're so awesome. Let's be besties. How <laughs> much um, resentment was there from the other girls? Um, That I came in and having a Draw, I think it was more like not a, even, not, you come in, you, you have this role, you're with Eric Bischoff, you're with Hulk Hogan, it's a prime spot. There had to be a little bit of First backlash. off, it, it comes from like, oh, okay, she's coming from another company, oh, she's that diva search girl, which has always stuck to me, and it will with anybody that's been in diva search, so that way, I already knew a few girls from that, you know, in Deep South days and stuff like that, so that was already stirring up, and then I come in, and it's like right away, I'm up here with these big leagues, and it's just like, mm. they really just didn't take me seriously, and didn't really pay any attention to me. It was like, oh, whatever, yeah, we don't care about you. Nobody really talked to me except for the few girls that I knew prior, like Lisa, Marie, and Christy Hemi, and the rest were just like, mm, hi. Very and rude. you think about it now, now you're a, a two-time Knockouts champion and you get to treat new girls the way... No, I would uh. never, <laughs> I would never do that because I remember when I first start, like got to Deep South and how evil they were yeah. to me and like I literally went home and cried every day because I didn't have any friends because I'm moving from where I lived and it's just myself and my dog. You know, and I'm trying to connect with these people. I'm trying to relate to them. And it's always like, oh, you're just pretty. Why are you here? Oh, you're taking my spot. And I mean, I get it. But at the end of the day, like, we're all a family, you know? And I would never treat somebody that's coming in trying to be comfortable. It's already scary enough as it is. And then these girls, in some way, look up to people that are above them, anyways, you know? And for you to come in and break them down, I would never, ever, ever. Would you say that it's more cutthroat now or was it more cutthroat then are you are you now that you guys are in the position that you're in are you trying to make it easier for for new girls like Marty Bell 100%. or Jay to come in? it was way different when I first got in there was could you not put your bag in this locker room oh yeah could you find the bathroom mm, you'll be fine oh did you need a mirror mm, yeah bust out your compact girl you know what I mean like Time in the makeup yes, chair, time yes. with the hair. And that's actually where I started doing my own hair and makeup because I didn't want to take up anybody else's time because it was like frowned upon. Because you'd be sitting there and they'd just like, so are you going to get up? Because it's, it's my turn. I'm like, yeah, you know what, I'll go ahead and get up and leave and tuck my tail between my legs. So that's when I'm like, you know what? I'll just save that uncomfortable situation and I'll just start doing my own hair and makeup and I'm never in the way and I'm always ready on my own. You know, I'm never waiting for somebody and no one's ever waiting on me and I'm never taking up a spot, so. Bully Ray put it best once. This is the greatest and the worst business in the world. God. I can agree with that. I can agree with that 100%. And it's so, it's, you never really know how people really feel either. Like you, you get half of somebody's real side and half of somebody's fake side, and you never know like what place that you're supposed to be in, what you're supposed to be doing, how people really think of you. And it's weird, even after all this time, that you still feel that way. Yes. Even from talking about your first day to talking about today. And I, mean, I still, still feel that. Yeah, you still, still do your own makeup. Yep, still yeah. do my own hair and makeup, just because I don't ever want to be in the way. I was in the chair for like an hour today. Oh, so see, it's takes, people like you. This takes a while. That takes an hour, bless your heart. Because all oh, this takes 45 minutes. Yeah. Well. That just about ruined my day, so mm. thanks. You're still pretty. Thank you. No. Do you like your tie? Yeah, matches my socks. Your socks? Look at those socks. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen. Is that yellow? There's yellow in there. <laughs> These are happy socks. Brooke, thanks for joining us on my first day on Impact Wrestling. Guys, continue to subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel, and uh, we'll have you on again. We Yay! can't talk about my first We can't talk. We can't have you on this show again because it's my first day. We already did it. What will we do next? Your last day. See you next week.